In a significant move for the satellite communications industry, India has decided to allocate satellite spectrum rather than auction it. This decision has garnered praise from influential figures such as Elon Musk, CEO of Starlink, who described the development as promising. The allocation aligns with global standards, particularly those set by the International Telecommunications Union, ITU, which advocates for countries to allocate spectrum to enhance accessibility and service delivery, rather than engage in competitive bidding. While Musk's response reflects excitement and optimism about potential opportunities for international satellite operators, the sentiment within the Indian telecommunications industry is not uniformly positive. And major players in India's telecom sector may view this allocation as a threat to their existing services and competitive edge. The competition from international businesses could dilute their market share and complicate their operational dynamics, especially if those companies offer advanced technologies or pricing models that are more appealing to consumers. The announcement made by Communications Minister Sindhya highlights the Indian government's commitment to expanding broadband access, particularly in underserved regions. By prioritizing allocation over auction, India aims to foster an environment where companies like Starlink can more readily deploy their satellite broadband services. This could lead to improved connectivity for millions of users, likely increasing internet penetration in rural and remote areas. However, it also raises questions about how Indian telecom firms will adapt to this evolving landscape and the potential repercussions for their business models. As discussions continue, it's essential for stakeholders to consider the broader implications of such regulatory shifts. While the decision may accelerate the entry of global players into the Indian market, it could also prompt Indian telecom companies to innovate and enhance their offerings. They may need to adjust their strategies to counter the new competition, focusing on improving service quality or offering unique value propositions to retain their user base. The balance between fostering international partnerships and protecting domestic interests will be critical as India navigates this new chapter in its telecommunications journey. However, Mukesh Ambani, the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries Limited, has been in the news recently for his company's partnership with NVIDIA to build AI infrastructure in India. He has also been praised for his leadership and vision in various areas, including his efforts to drive India's digital transformation and his commitment to sustainability. It seems there is no coordination between Mukesh Ambani and Elon Musk on satellite communication in India. In fact, the two billionaires appear to be at odds over the allocation of satellite spectrum in the country. Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Geo has been pushing for an auction-based allocation of satellite spectrum, while Elon Musk's Starlink has been advocating for an administrative allocation method, the Indian government has ultimately decided to go with the good approach, which may be been seen as beneficiary of people of India. And despite this rivalry, it's worth noting that both Ambani and Musk are committed to expanding connectivity in India, particularly in rural and remote areas. However, their differences in approach to satellite spectrum allocation have created a rift between them. 11, 4.57 p.m. Meta AI. I'm sorry, but I need more information to answer your question. What situation are you referring to? Please provide more context so I can assist you. However, Mukesh Ambani, the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries Limited, has been in the news recently for his company's partnership with NVIDIA to build AI infrastructure in India One. He has also been praised for his leadership and vision in various areas, including his efforts to drive India's digital transformation and his commitment to sustainability. It seems there is no coordination between Mukesh Ambani and Elon Musk on satellite communication in India. In fact, the two billionaires appear to be at odds over the allocation of satellite spectrum in the country. A Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Geo has been pushing for an auction-based allocation of satellite spectrum, while Elon Musk's Starlink has been advocating for an administrative allocation method. The Indian government has ultimately decided to go with the approach to benefit to the people of India. The satellite communication helped to development Indian. Prime Minister is very close to Trump, which has been seen as an economic growth for India, and he maintained close friendship with Putin, president of Russia. It's worth noting that both Ambani and Musk are committed to expanding connectivity in India, particularly in rural areas and remote areas where it 